And Jesus is what God has done about the death problem. And Jesus is what God has done about the crime problem. And Jesus is what God has done about the hatred problem. And Jesus is what God has done about the divorce problem. And Jesus is what God has done about the problem in your life. Jesus is what God has done about the fear you carry. And Jesus is what God is doing. He doesn't give you a philosophy that answers all your questions. He gives you a person that comes and breathes life into your soul. He gives you life. He gives you hope. He gives you, he gives you another day. He gets you up from, out from under your desk. And he gets you out from under your bills. And he gets you out from under your failure. And he gets you out from under your self-hatred. And he gets you out from under the lies that you've been listening to. And he raises you up from the dead and you become resurrection people and you stand on your feet and you live again. And this is us. And this is our life. This is who we are. And you can do this. You can do this tomorrow when you don't have a crowd to applaud. You can do this to, tomorrow when, when, the, when all the feelings come back. You can do it when you say, I can't get that feeling, Lord. I don't have to have it. I have him. I have him alive within me. And I open my mouth and the spirit of my father speaks. I tell people all the time, I don't know how to answer your question. I just know Jesus. Because frankly, even if I could answer your question, you wouldn't change your mind. You'd move, you'd move the question to another place. But if you have Jesus, if your eye meets his... Then you'll know. Why did Jesus do it this way? I don't know. I don't understand why God did anything the way he did it. It's none of my business. I don't have any answers to the why questions. I only know who. I only know him. And I only declare him. And I only say, Jesus is alive. He's alive today for you. And he'll be alive for you tomorrow. Tomorrow.